Hey everybody, so real quick, I just want to explain what auto 1111 is for people that don't know. So this is to run stable diffusion locally, and there's also a deform extension for it. So if you have a really good computer, a really good graphic card, it's great for that. Um, the better you know your computer system is, the faster you can run. And also, it's free. You know, you won't get kicked off like you do with Google Colab. So I just wanted to explain the difference. I actually have an older card, so I am still mostly using Google Colab. I will at some point get an upgraded card and probably do a lot more local. But I just wanted to let you know what this was before you got into it too far. And I'm going to continue to use both. And I'm going to do a full set of tutorials and guides also on Auto 1.1. One, one just because so many people did start using it when Google kind of switched their credit system but I am still mainly using Google Colab but that's what this guide is so if you want to get up and running with auto one 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 this is the guide for you hello everybody so this is my guide for auto one 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 and I'm also going to explain a little bit about the difference between using this and the notebook so if you have a really good graphic card, then you can use automatic 1111 locally instead of using Google Colab. And a lot of people did this. A lot of people kind of migrated to this at the end of September because Google Colab did go to a pay system. Now, I personally, I don't have a real great graphic card. I've got, I think it's a GTX 150. It's a little older. It's a couple of years old. So you will um, probably, if you don't have a great graphic card, it is still a good idea to probably use Google Colab. You'll have access to better processors there, especially if you got a pro account. And I, so far, I've been able to stay within my credits. But anyways, so what, what the main difference is between using automatic 1111 is that you will be running it locally. So your computer will be doing all the the processing for making your AI images with stable diffusion. And so that's what I'm going to show you how to do today with this automatic 1111 is to set it up and the forum also has an extension for it so that you can still use some of these video features like are in the, the forum notebook on the automatic 1111. And so basically this, this video, this guide today is just going to be setting it up. And I did run into a couple issues, so I'm going to share those with you to help you avoid those same pitfalls I did I actually had this running for a while and then all of a sudden it quit working and I did figure out what the problem is so let's go ahead right now I have a link here we're gonna first just install automatic 1111 and I'm running it on Windows so that's what I'm gonna do this guide for if you want to there's some other guides here or there's some details here on the page on how to install it like with Linux, I believe, and things like that. And so we're just going to, yeah, there's Linux down below. But I am going to do this automatic installation on Windows. Now, the most important thing here is something I made a mistake of. It says install Python 3.10.6. This will be our first thing. And also, this is really important. Make sure you add Python to path. I'm going to go ahead now and open this. And let me switch Windows here real quick. Okay, so here we are at the Python download page. Now, what I did is... When I uninstalled it to do a tutorial, I reinstalled it, but I got this version here, the 3.11. Now, we do not want this, even though this is the newest version. It um, The automatic 1111, and I believe that it's, it's just not set up to run this one yet. So we actually want, the version that we want is the 3.10.6, like it says there. And it, it says it right there. I just didn't really pay attention. You know, I just automatically downloaded the latest one because, you know, that's kind of what I do. Usually I want to be updated. So we're going to get the 3.10.6 right here from August 2nd of 2022. This is the version that we want. So I'm going to go ahead and get whichever version you want. If it, you got the 32-bit, get the 32-bit. I've got the 64-bit. So I am going to get the 64-bit here. And then there's another thing here that's also important once we get this and run this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and run this now. Okay, I've switched my mode here to record the display now. Now, this is also very important. When you're installing this, make sure that you click on this, Add Python to Path. That is also important, and I'm going to go ahead now and install it. And I'll come back when this is done. There shouldn't be any... Thing else you need to check besides that add to path that is very important that you do check that okay the python installation is installed i'm now going to go back here to the auto 111 
Now, the next thing you want to do is install Git. This is a program that will use some of the features in the automatic 111. Okay, now there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can either run this git clone command here, or you can also just go up here and go to code and download the zip file here, which is what I did. And then I've got my folder here, my auto 111, and I'm just going to extract to the zip file here. Okay, and now I have my zip file here and I have just extracted it. So now I'm going to open this. Now the next thing that we first want to do is we're going to need to put our stable diffusion model here. In stable diffusion, if you notice, there is no model here, no model checkpoint. And so you can either download that 1.5. I'll go ahead and put the link there for that runway. And you can download that model. And that's the newest one, the 1.5. You can also put custom models in here. And I'm going to go ahead also and give you guys a link to my werewolf model. I'm going to go ahead and throw them both in here. Okay, and here is the stable diffusion directory here. If we go back here to this. So this is where I unzipped everything. Go here, and then we go to models. And then stable diffusion. And this is where we want to put our models. So I have here my custom model, my wolf model I made, my werewolf model. And then I've got here the latest 1.5 model. So now what we're going to do to run this, we are going to go down here and we want to run web UI user. So we're going to go ahead and run this. And this is going to install everything now. So this might take a minute here. Okay, it looks like everything is installed. It looks like it is getting up and running here. It's just loading the checkpoint weights now. And then what I'll do, I'll just run this real quick. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to install the deform extension so that we can have those great video tools from the deforum crew on this but this should be up and running here in just a minute and i'll just give you kind of a quick look at it here okay and we are up and running now so what you do here is you're going to copy your path here once you have this up and running this is from that web ui program and you it says running on local and you just copy that and you just paste it into your web browser and this will bring up your tools so now again we're, this is very similar to the notebook except that now we are running everything on our computer, so we can get kicked off Google Colab. We can sit here and render to our heart's content. Now, if you notice, though, we don't have that deform yet, so we're going to do that next. Um, right now, I just want to show you this. So this is my two models. Actually, I actually have my werewolf model here. It already loaded this, the standard one. So I'm just going to go ahead and we'll do a couple of tests here. I also have a readme file here with the... Okay, let's try it. There we go. There's our wolf one. Okay. So this is the werewolf model, and you can get some kind of different styles here. Um, let's try this. This wolf one by Raphael Oblinsky. Anyways, this is about a 2 gig download for this werewolf model. So if you want to get it, I'll put a link there below. And so this is how you can use switch and use different models. This is the regular, the 1.5 stable diffusion model. This is my custom model I made that I posted a guide. I have a guide, too, where you can see a lot of these prompts and stuff that I tried out with it. And I haven't really experimented a lot with these. Normally I use like DDIM because that's a really quick one. And I know the DPM to Ancestral, sometimes you get some kind of good results with that. So there we go. There's the werewolf model. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out of this now. Now to shut it down, you just go ahead and close this. If you notice, this also keeps track of everything you're doing. So all your renders, they're being done right there on your computer now. So your graphic card can really make or break your speed. But the good news is you're doing this locally. You're in control of how long you run. You won't get kicked off. You don't have to pay anything. So that is definitely one of the pros about running local and using auto 1111. Okay, we're going to go ahead and close it. I'm just going to close it out here. And then once that's closed, now it won't do anything. Now that web is dead, so we can just go ahead and close that. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and go to the deform extension and get that up and running. Okay, and here we are on the deform extension page for this. So what we're going to do here first, we're just going to, it says first, um, just make sure you install it. And then what we're going to do is you can, you can again, use that Git hub clone and you can go ahead and use Git and just copy that into it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead. Let me just go ahead and show you the other way. So you need to, if you're on this line here, make sure that you launch that in the correct directory. Another thing you can do here is just download this zip here. And that's what I'm going to do. Okay, and so the next one is you locate the extensions folder within your web UI installation. Create a folder called dforum in the extension. So that's what I'm going to do here. 
Okay, so here's my auto 111 directory. So I'm going to go here into extensions. I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder called dforum. And then I'm going to paste that zip file I just downloaded there from that website, which I have linked below. Okay, I've unzipped it. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to rename this to dforum, I believe. Okay, and let's go ahead and see if this works now. So I've got the forum. Actually, let me, I've got the forum within the forum. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, now everything is right there. Okay. Okay, now what we're, we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and launch the web UI again now. And this time we should have those deform video extensions there. Okay, I did stop it. Um, there's one more thing here. If you want to launch Deform in 3D mode, you need to download these depth models manually. So let's go ahead and do this and get this out of the way first. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And then we're going to put them, it looks like we're going to put them in the Models Deform folder. Okay, I've got the first one downloading here. I'll go ahead and start this second one downloading as well. And let's go ahead and see if we can locate that folder. It says Models D Forum folder. Okay, and let's go ahead and locate that too. It should be right here under Models. And then let's go ahead and create a folder here called the forum. And we will place them in there. And this looks like this might take a little bit to download, so I'm going to go ahead and let it download. Okay, everybody, so again, I've gone here into my auto 111 folder. I've gone into models, and then I created this folder here called the forum. And then I just put those two files I just downloaded. Looks like it's just a little over two gigs there. And then we're going to go ahead now. Let me go back to the web page here really quick. So we should have everything now to run this deform extension now in auto 1111. Okay. So this is the file, this is the step I just did. If you're on Windows and want to launch deform in 3D mode, you need to download the depths models manually. And that's what I just did. Just these two files. And then it says to place them in the models deform folder of your web UI installation. If it doesn't exist, create it which is what I did here in models. So I have those in the forum and then over here in my stable diffusion, I've got my 1.5 stable diffusion model. That's the normal one. And then I've got my custom Wolf one model there. So let's go ahead now and get this up and running. Let's go ahead and launch web UI user again. Okay. And here we go. We've got our web UI up and running now, our auto one, 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 and there is our deform tab. Awesome. Okay. So now if you'll notice, a lot of these have to do with the video. So we can now make videos in this using our good old D forum methods, which is 3D, 2D. I don't believe interpolation is working right now, which is fine. Uh, and honestly, that's probably one of the ones I didn't use a whole lot, but I do like the 3D and it looks here like, okay, there's our max video frames. Oh, this is for this is for the output. So we don't want to do that in it. That's for using a starting image. So let's go over here to our run section and see if we can find our modes there. Let's see, key, key frames. Here it is. Okay, key frames. Okay, so let's, I'm just going to do a really quick 50 frame video here. Looks like we got 2D and let's see, I'm just going to put my zoom down to something simple. We'll deal with these math functions later. And let's see, we'll just do, let's just do a 2D one here to start. And since I've got my werewolf model, I'm going to go ahead. It looks like there's nothing else there going on. This is for um, 3D mode. That shouldn't do anything in 2D mode. And let's see our strength schedule. That looks all right. Our noise schedule. Looks like it might be a little high, but I don't know. This might be a little different also than, um, you know, the notebook was because this is a different program. Let's see. Okay, everything looks all right there. Let's go ahead and go to our prompts now. Now, this is a little different. I noticed this last time around this. If you notice, there's quotes even around the numbers, which we never had to do before. So what I'm going to do here, though, is 
I'm just going to trim this down a bit. And let's go ahead and run it. Let me see. Actually, one more thing. Let's turn down the... I just want to turn down my resolution a bit. Because, again, I'm using kind of an older video card. So I, I need to turn down my settings a little bit or I get out of memory errors. I'm going to go ahead and just set this to 448. And let's see, how many steps do I have here? 21 steps. Okay, that looks fine. Let's just go ahead and try and run this. Okay, okay, our video is here. It says click here after the generation to show the video. Let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. Hey, that's not bad. Okay, so we now have, this is definitely working. Okay, so we do have deformed diffusion up and running. And if you want to grab my Woof, my Werewolf model, I'll have a link below for that as well as some links here for everything you need to get this up and running locally. Now, I'm not going to get into the other ones. I'll just do the 2D mode today, and I'll post a... I did a couple of videos in 2D mode, work great. I'll get into 3D mode a little later. Uh, my graphic card is really, like I said, it's kind of an older one, so it doesn't really handle... I'm not sure how well it's going to handle 3D mode, but I will get into that and all the other aspects of 111. Later, I'm going to kind of tackle this the same way I did with Notebook. I'll just do one one thing at a time here. So thank you all for watching and I hope that this helps you, especially if you wanted to run local. This is a great way to do it. And thank you as always to Deform for making this great extension, as well as of course the Deform Notebook. And I also have a video, the 0.6 version of the Notebook just came out the other day. And that has some new features as well, some gradient management and things like that. So thank you all for watching. I will be back soon. You all have a great rest of your day. I also am working on another model. I'm going to do a vampire model next. I think we'll go ahead and tackle all the movie monsters and get those done for you. Okay, so you all have a great day. Thank you for watching.